Do you find yourself constantly teaching the same old one-size-fits-all drills? Why not try non-linear pedagogy? Non-linear pedagogy, or NP for short, is a teaching approach that could help students learn sports skills better. It involves three key principles. The first involves incorporating variability in practice. The second is to create representative learning designs. And the third is about simplifying tasks. Sounds like too much to handle. Let's break it down for you. When we talk about incorporating variability in practice, this simply means setting different limits for your students by playing around with different factors. This could be as simple as throwing around different sized balls, for example, to challenge your students to find different ways of catching balls. Students can thus find their own ways to achieve the task outcome. Next, creating representative learning designs means that you are guiding your students to play and learn in different and realistic game scenarios. For example, instead of letting them practice with stationary cones, you could pit them against opponents or get them to compete in small-sided games. Lastly, simplifying tasks would allow students to focus better on the movement outcome. Again, this could mean something as simple as swapping a small ball for a bigger ball that's easier to hit. Students can thus focus on the ball's trajectory instead of struggling to get the correct form of movement. In contrast to one-size-fits-all, technique-dominated approaches, NP provides more opportunities for students to collaborate, explore and come up with their own ways to move. It also caters for learning differences between students and highlights that there are many ways of achieving the same outcome. So how do you get started? You can follow these steps. Firstly, you could roughly demonstrate the movement instead of telling them exactly how to do it. You should also give your students the time and space to try out the different movements. When necessary, use questions to guide them to focus on the task goal instead of telling them exactly how to do it. Lastly, encourage your students to learn by working together. If you'd like to know more about non-linear pedagogy, visit the Knowledge Bank website.